Supposed biblical error. Do Matthew and Luke teach the earth is flat? Both Matthew and Luke record the temptations of Jesus, and both record the devil led Jesus up to a mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world from up there. Matthew says, again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. Luke says, and the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. But since the earth is round, it would be impossible to see all the kingdoms of the earth. So did Matthew and Luke teach the earth is flat and erroneously think that if you stood on a high mountain, you could see them all? Well, this is very unlikely. First, even if the gospel writers thought the earth was flat, they would know that if you stood on a high mountain in Judea, you could not see every kingdom of the world. Places like Ethiopia, India, and the Parthian Empire were still out of sight, even for someone who thought the earth was flat. So it is unreasonable to assume anyone would think you could see the entire earth and all its kingdoms from a small mountain in Judea. Two other options are far more likely. The first is that Satan showed Jesus a spiritual vision and flashed before him all the kingdoms of the world. There is evidence of this in Luke, who says he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. If they were all seen in a moment, then it is possible it was a vision of some sort. We are, after all, speaking of Jesus encountering a spiritual being. So if the event is true, Satan would have spiritual powers and be able to show Jesus all these things. A typical skeptic usually responds... Now, let me go back, right? What's the... What's the verse? Him here is Jesus, is it? Because I didn't realize that at the first, but when it comes to this, meaning Jesus is the one that been, is being shown this thing by Satan. Now this becomes because you know the past four videos is purely historical, you know. But this becomes because when you say about Jesus, there's the belief aspect because Christians believe certain things about Jesus. If we discuss this, Jesus is as purely human, then okay, you know, this is a story. But if Jesus is also God, how do you how you do you see this? You know, did number one, I'm not sure what is the full story, whether Jesus knows that is Satan or Satan comes in the form of something else. That's number one. Number two, regardless, if Jesus is God, what's what's going on here? Or oh, this is the human side of Jesus only and God goes to the back and not participate. I'm not sure. So vision and flash before him all the kingdoms of the world. There is evidence of this in Luke, who says he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. If they were all seen in a moment, then it is possible it was a vision of some sort. We are, after all, speaking of Jesus encountering a spiritual being. So if the event is true, Satan would have spiritual powers and be able to show Jesus all these things. So that's, that, that kind of phrasing is interesting to me, you know. Satan have power and then show to Jesus. Of course, one is Jesus' side. I Meaning, does he have the God's ability, etc.? Or, you know, there are moments where Jesus is, meaning God is not, because when Christian, some Christians say, I, I, I do not want to impose this to all Christians, because some Christians say this, some Christians say that. Right? Some Christians have said that Jesus is 100% God and 100% human. Number one, of course, I don't know what that means. But number two, does it mean that sometimes 100% this, sometimes 100% that? Because in this case, for example, in this instance, is Jesus 100% God? Uh, or even though Jesus is 100% God, God may not participate. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to even ask this because it's, it's beyond me to even logically put it. Uh, number two, uh, do Christians actually believe Satan have power? Because that's one debate in the comment section that I have because from Islamic perspective, Satan do not have a power. Right, he's just a creation, just just like us. Although he was allowed to tempt human being until the end of time, right? He 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 want to um, make human deviate from the true path, etc. Right? So God given him, allow him to do that until the end. He will be punished. 
in the hell right so and jesus is just you know jesus sorry satan just you know whisper so that you go in certain way right it, it, satan do not have like you know when it's called power unless whatever that god allow satan to do so but in term of christianity some some of the christians says that because from the very beginning satan have some something right and so i'm curious on that a typical skeptic usually responds with what was the point of going up on a mountain if it was shown in a vision this could have been done anywhere why take jesus up a mountain if not to show him the view from up there well this is to assume the mountain's purpose was for looking across the land it now all of this depiction is it how it is being told meaning or is this just illustration for people who want to imagine something I, I, i'm curious if from the what is actually being told in the bible uh, satan is in a human form with some form of wings is, is that how it goes or is just purely imagination of someone and no one actually knows what form satan is in that in that moment it may have been meant for something else throughout the old testament we hear of people worshiping false gods on the high places high places were associated with spiritual activity especially with that of false gods which christians today would call the worship of demons so the devil would have been taking jesus up to his throne or to his spiritual ground and asked jesus to kneel before him at his throne after of course he showed jesus what he can offer matthew and luke would have liked this element of the event it would have been a demonstration for their audiences that jesus can beat the devil on his own ground that of a high place another option is simply the obvious one namely that matthew and luke were just speaking in hyperbole and simply saying the devil led jesus up to a high place to show him a great stretch of land which was meant to represent all the kingdoms of the world just like today if a hiker climbs to the top of a mountain and proclaims he can see everything from up there we all realize he doesn't mean everything just that he can see far more than if he was at a lower altitude plus this type of language is seen throughout the gospels matthew says the fame of jesus spread through all of syria and they brought all the sick out to him he is probably just using hyperbole to mean jesus was well known by many in syria and they brought a lot of sick people out to him he later says all the city came out to see jesus he probably just means a large crowd from the city and not every single man woman and child matthew does this many times and luke does it as well so it is probable that is all that is happening during the temptations of jesus in their words do not imply a flat earth or that they could literally see every kingdom just a typical use of hyperbole thus this supposed error can be resolved now i wonder because this video meaning that is to you know diminish any suggestion that those particular story actually suggest bible teach about flat earth is there any other verse because there are some christian that believe in flat earth right I, i'm assuming there are still because from what i've seen but maybe i'm wrong maybe those people no longer exist so if that then the the, the what i will be asking is no longer valid but the, is it, if there's some at least some christian that actually believe in flat earth is it based on the bible and is it based on the story or other part of the bible actually imply or give image of a flat earth i'm i'm, I'm interested to know because i don't know I, i'm interested to know because i've seen some people that claim to be christian that say about you know flat earth so is it biblical or is it just something else thank you for watching see you next time